and I'm a fast mover. <laughs> so. um, George, Zan Smith, BBC, OMG, WTF. Can I just say your hair is amazing in Thank real you. life. And that pinstripe suit and like all the women in here want to sleep with you. So it's like, you know, but See? I was just thinking. You we know, have time for one more question. You know, I, I was just thinking though, when you were making the film, were you just ever thinking, are we alone in the universe? <laughs> no, because there's 500 crew members standing around there. It was, uh, there was never a moment that you actually felt alone. In so you weren't in space being like, it's huge out there and there just might be something? No, you know, we were, we were um, inside a, um, what was that thing called? What did you call it? A uh, light box. It was a, a light, light box. box. And there was a, a, a giant piece of machinery that I think they used to build cars with, yes? Yep. Yeah. That would come flying towards you at 40 miles an hour. And I think the, the great challenge we found, as opposed to feeling alone in space, was to not react when this... 4,000 pound machine came flying at you and would stop, you know, this close. So there was, we were always surrounded by people. I would love to see the light in your box. <laughs> uh, but Sandra, just one question for you. When you saw what was going on in the film, did you think, uh, oh, really? Uh-oh. <laughs> it happens, every, every press conference it happens. Okay, we have a question here. Right, right I, have, I have an amazing question as well. Um, <laughs>